Hi there, welcome to the second part, the second module of this 10 part series that I'm putting together for your health and wellness to be able to do when your heart breaks at work, when you come home as a transition or if you're working from home, transition from home to work or work to home, as well as perhaps just before you go to bed to help to relax your body and your nervous system. So as we go through this pandemic, I'm aware that there are many people who are still working as frontline workers, teachers, support staff, doctors, and nurses, all the respiratory therapists, physiotherapists, massage therapists, there are so many people that are still working. And I put this together for you, but it's really anybody can do these very short, very accessible practices that I'm putting together that combine movement. Sometimes it will look like yoga, sometimes it will be different movement. It will include meditation, it will include some coaching tips, and it will include some breath work. And by the way, I'm Diana Lockett, and I'm so excited to bring this to you. So I'm going to have you standing. So we're always going to start standing because I don't want to presume that wherever you're doing this at work, if you're at work, that you have a place to roll out a mat. So we're going to start standing, and everything we'll do will be standing with the option to come to a seated position for meditation. So with your feet grounded on the ground, have a look down and notice if your feet are forming number 11. So we have these incredible tendencies of turning our toes out or shifting our hips to one side. And that works for a little while. If you start noticing that your body is having some pain in your back or in your hips, then you probably want to look at your postures and readjust and realign your posture. So feet are forming number 11, which means your second toes are turned forward. And then feel the strength of your feet grounded into the earth. Feel the ball mounds of your feet, feel the heels of your feet, evenly grounded into the earth. Today we're working into strength because to get through sometimes just the average day, many of us need to call upon our inner strength to be able to do that. So please close your eyes and take a deep breath. Feel the feet strengthened into the earth and feel the earth strength giving you energy to support you. And then pull that strength all the way up through your legs. You're gonna to start to feel your legs get firmer. You're gonna to start to feel your thighs get firmer. Maybe you start to pull your low belly up and in and you create some toning through your core, just a little bit though, not so much that you can't breathe. And now feel the energy moving up through your shoulders, lift your shoulders up and back together. And resist dropping them. Can you hold the strength of your shoulders lifted as they are? But then notice if your belly popped out, pull it back in. Tailbone lengthens down. And then relax your arms, but keep your shoulders connected. It takes strength just to maintain the connection of the shoulders, which energetically helps to open your heart space. And when we're living in places of fight or flight or fear, becomes really easy to want to collapse the shoulders and close the heart. It becomes protective. And our job, especially as frontline workers, is to keep the heart open, to meet life with an open heart, and to have the strength to do that, even when there's no guarantees, and even when you feel pain. Pain in life often comes from loving so much. So keep your heart open and have the strength and courage to feel all the big feels. Take one deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, stick out your tongue. This is the lion's breath. It's super strong. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, tongue sticks out. And notice the audible quality of the breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. And your next exhale, I want you to seal your lips. Inhale through your nose. Seal your lips. Exhale through your nose. Good. Do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, you're welcome to open your eyes or keep them closed. Extend your arms up to the sky. Exhale, pull your hands down through your heart and alongside your waist, starting to link your movement with breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, your hands to your heart center. 
and alongside your waist. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit your hips down into an imaginary chair. See if you can align your knees just behind your toes and resist them falling in. Shoulders are now pulling back towards each other and extend your fingers forward, arms parallel to the ground. Pull your low belly in, lengthen your tailbone. And we're gonna take little movements. Inhale, lengthen your legs, lift your body tall. Exhale, slowly lower down, lower down. And each time you come down, maybe you go a little bit further. Inhale, anchor through the big toe mound of your feet, your inner feet. Exhale, lower down. Good, four more times. Inhale, squeeze your belly, squeeze your shoulders. Energize your arms, even feel your fingers energizing. As you spread your fingers wide, letting energy pulsate through you and as you, can you engage your fingers? Do two more times, inhale and exhale. Good, so we move through a little slower through the strengthening practices so that you can allow your muscles to be awakened. Holding your seated position, little pulsations for 10, weight is in your heels, nine, belly's toned, eight, Find your strength, it's inside you. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold in, breathe. Exhale, good, slower than you want to. Inhale, let come up for five, four, three, two, one. Relax your arms. Good, inhale your arms up. Keep moving, keep your energy and your breath flowing. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, open your arms alongside you into a T formation. Turn your thumbs to the sky and then turn your palms to the sky. And then exhale, slowly rotate the opposite direction. So start to open and wake up your shoulder joint. Good, belly stays toned, feet are still heavy in the ground. Forming number 11s with your toes, can you feel it without even looking at them? Good. And the next time your palms stay down, turn down, keep them here, keep them just as they are, and start to make little circles going forward. Now you're gonna notice that the rest of your body is going to wanna to disconnect. When you notice the disconnect, you get an opportunity to reconnect and to find your inner strength. So belly in, shoulders together, begin to make bigger circles. Yeah, and your shoulders might feel tired. And the way that I remind people when I teach this is I've never had anybody have their shoulders fall off their body. So as tired as it is, feel your strength and commit to your strength. This is the strength that's gonna get you through that next difficult shift or meeting or parenting experience or couple experience. <coughs> Excuse me. Find stillness and reverse big circles, big circles, go bigger, wider. Good, feel your strength and your power Good, it's inside you and always has been. We just sometimes forget and we go looking outside for it, but it's inside you. Make your circle smaller and smaller and smaller. Good, keep going. Good, keep going and then stop. Shoulders together, fingers extend. Deep breath through your nose. Lion's breath through your mouth. Ha. <sighs> Inhale, slowly flip your palms up and lift your arms for five. You've got this, guys. Four. Feel your strength and your power. Three, two, one. And then slowly turn your palms down and lower for five, all the way down. Four. You're getting there. Three, two, one. Relax. Good. Little shoulder curls up and back. Ujjayi breath is breathing in through your nose and out through your nose as we come into finding the pulsation of strength into a little bit of rest and know that you can always access that pulsation. We call it spanda. Spanda is the ebb and flow of life. And when we find the balance between our strength and our surrender, our effort and our ease, go back again. In the middle, there's a balance that's nurturing that lets us fill our cup up because we know what we need, reverse forward. I'm using a lot of we's today because I do also work as a frontline worker, as a speech language pathologist in school, so I get it. Slowly shake your arms out, shake your shoulders out, shake your body out, good. 
Close your eyes, take a lion's breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Good, and then stillness. Take a big step with your right foot. Turn your left toes to face in the opposite direction. So you're creating a T from your left heel to your inner right arch. Lunge into your left leg. Extend your arms out. Warrior two, breathe in and out. So we are all warriors. And the way that we show up as warriors, the way that we tap into our strength, so much of it has to do with the conditioning that we've experienced, the way we've been taught, what, what has been welcomed and invited and what has not been welcomed and invited. So many of us have had emotional energetic ranges suppressed so that we couldn't tap into the power and the strength that we have because it wasn't something that our caregivers or school or society could take and hold for us. Slowly drop your back hand, flip your front arm, inhale, reach up and over, but right here, right now, you have an opportunity to reparent yourself, to welcome your strength and your power, and it comes from this beautiful knowing heart that is you. Inhale, back to center, so it's not an egoic strength that tries to bulldoze or over people. It's about reverse reach up and over. It's about tapping into the strength of your heart, finding your resilience, knowing that this too shall pass and you've got it, you'll make it. Reverse. Inhale, holding warrior two. Exhale, pull your low belly in. Inhale, extend your arms to the sky. Once your palms touch, reverse your palms down, lower your arms, lunge into your left knee. Three more times, inhale nice and slow, feel your big toe mount anchored. Squeeze all of the muscles on your legs, your arms, your glutes, your belly, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale your hands to your waist, straighten your front leg, turn your left toes forward. Turn your right toes to the opposite direction. So you're creating a T from your right heel to your left arch. Lunge into your front knee, right knee. Knee is over your ankle. If it's going beyond, lengthen your back leg behind you. If you're wearing clothing today that restricts your ability to go this wide, then you go narrower. You do what you can. Always. We always do the best that we can given our model of reality. And the reality might be that you're wearing a skirt today and this doesn't work. That's okay. Lunging over your leg, extend your arms. Squeeze your shoulders, draw your low belly in, firm your left thigh back, that's it. Breathe, you're feeling all of your muscles engage. This is your strength and your power. And now pull that energy and that strength into the core of your being, through your core, into your heart. Extend through your fingers, inhale. Exhale. Drop your back hand, flip your front arm, inhale, reach up and over, stretch through your fingers. Exhale, back into warrior two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, return. Two more times, keep your left thigh strong. Keep your core strong, beautiful. Keep breathing, strength through your breath. Trust that you have this. Good, coming into warrior two, holding, breathe. Exhale, keep your belly toned, tailbone in. Inhale, straighten your leg, reach your arms up, tap your hands. Exhale, turn your palms down, lunge back into your right leg. Three more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Great, one more time, inhale. And exhale. Holding here, breathe in. And out. Hands to your waist, inhale, straighten your leg. Turn your toes forward and heel toe your feet until they come back under your hips. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale with soft knees, fold forward. So moving into a forward fold, just nice and gentle. Let your belly rest on your thighs. Let your shoulders drop, let your head drop. Fingers can rest either on the ground, on your thighs, or you can reach for opposite elbows. And let your body be pulled in towards the earth. Feel the strength of your legs supporting you, giving you permission to relax into your strength. You can sway from side to side, 
Bend your knees as generously as you need to, to start feeling a stretch through your low back. If your knees are straight, you're working through the back of your hamstrings and you deny yourself the opportunity to lengthen your back, which, especially if you've been standing a lot of today, needs a little nurturing. Good, inhale, release your hands. Come up to a halfway lift. Fingers to your shins or your thighs, lengthening the crown forward. Exhale, fold forward. As you fold, grab your ankles with your hands and begin to pull the flesh of your ankles up to your hips. And as your ankles pull up, your head, your shoulders relax down. So you're plugging your femur bones, your thigh bones into your pelvic bone. And that gives you more strength to surrender. And sometimes, maybe today's that day, that's all we can do is tap into the strength to surrender to what is. Inhale, release and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale your hands to your waist, soften your knees, come all the way up to stand. And exhale, and release your hands behind you, interlace your knuckles, your hands, squeeze your shoulders back and just begin to pull your hands slightly away so you're stretching through the front of your shoulders. Once more, belly in, tailbone down. Feel your breath. Notice if your head is jetting forward, pull the back of your head back throat back, chin back, nose back, ears back, belly in. Good. And now we'll take this into a forward fold. So finding the strength of your feet, knees are soft, begin to fold forward and arms can extend up to the sky. You move to your depth where it feels like you can maintain your balance and your strength. Stay connected to your breath, a little toning through your belly. Good, inhale slowly, come all the way back up. And exhale, release, moving into meditation. You're welcome to stand, lean against a wall, or find some way to sit. I have a cushion today, so I'll be sitting on my cushion. You can sit on a chair, on a ledge, whatever is available to you and sit in any way that feels comfortable. So you don't have to sit cross-legged, you could have your knees on the ground. And once you find yourself seated, close your eyes. Feel your hands on your thighs. And for today's meditation, keep your palms turned down. Your palms are on your thighs, tapping into the strength of your legs that walk you everywhere you need to go every minute of today. Take a moment to acknowledge the strength that is you and always has been. And with each breath, feel the strength of your breath pulsing your heart forward. Your shoulders are up and back. Begin to relax now into the strength of your breath. So you get to a point where you don't have to even manage your breath. Your breath manages you with the strength and the power that always draws it in and draws it out. Take a moment to reflect on a time Maybe it was earlier today, last week, last March, years ago, where you didn't recognize your strength. Where you doubted your ability to come back from whatever it was that was challenging you. Notice how old you are where you are, who you're with, and most importantly, notice how you feel about this situation. 
to feel collapsed, defeated, lacking capacity, weak. And I'd like you now from this place of stillness that you are currently residing, I'd like you to find that younger version of you and bring her closer, bring him closer. If he's collapsed or she's collapsed on the ground, gently imagine lifting this earlier version of you up. Looking into your eyes and telling this version of you, you will get through this. You are strong beyond imagination. You have resilience that is unfathomable. And this too shall pass. And repeat that as many times as you need to or find your own words until this younger version of you starts to believe it. So you start sharing your strength backwards to heal what was in the past and to give your strength purpose for right here and right now, this beautiful strength of your heart, the strength to show up the strength to heal, the strength that you have to acknowledge what you need or what a younger version of you needed. This is your power. And this strength right here, right now, this moment is your life. This is who you are. quietly thank this younger version of you for showing up and letting you shower them with your strength. Maybe give them a strong hug in your imagination and slowly make your way back to this very moment in your body. And scan your body and where do you feel strength? And what does it feel like? And the next time you're called to touch your strength, can you trust that it's inside you? You're welcome to keep your eyes closed as you place your hands together at your heart center, feeling the strength of each finger one at a time connecting and the outer edges of your hands connecting. And bow to the strength of your heart. Acknowledge your power, your resilience, and thank yourself for taking this time right here and now today to remind yourself of what you needed the most and to nurture your body, your mind, and your heart. The light in me bows and acknowledges to the light within you. Namaste.